Hi, my name is Corey Magstad. I'm the founder and executive director of Launch Ministry, and we were the 2016 Chaskey Human Rights Commission um, Award recipients. Let me show you around our drop-in center and tell you a little bit about what we do. This is the main room of our drop-in center where 18 to 29 year old youth who are struggling can come and access immediate need services. Um, here in this space, um, they can sit on the couch, take a nap, they can access food in the refrigerator and off the snack table, and they can meet with our staff to talk through um, the, what kind of crisis they're going through, um, access county services and um, other resources that might be available to them. Um, in the room in the back, we have access to um, a clothing pantry, food pantry, emergency hygiene items where youth can um, find the things that they need and um, ensure that they have those immediate needs met. Besides our drop-in center where our mentoring programs and other programs take place, um, we also have two off-site programs. Our emergency shelter program currently houses eight young adults in local hotels where youth who are sleeping outside or in their cars can get off the street and immediately find a safe place to live as we help them transition to stable adulthood and stable um, living arrangements. We also have a permanent supportive housing program where youth who are in crisis um, it can move into apartments and we support them with case management to um, be able to successfully live here within our own community. Um, currently we have 20 young adults living in apartments scattered throughout Carver and Scott County. When we received the Human Rights Commission Award in 2016, we were humbled and honored, but frankly I felt a little bit embarrassed as well because I looked at the work that we were doing and I had recognized right at that point that there was so much work left to do. Uh, we looked at our programming and we recognized that there was a big gap in our services where we were only seeing 10% youth of color and 90% white youth. Whereas we recognized statewide, uh, most homeless youth serving organizations were serving 90% youth of color and 10% white youth. Um, we saw this as a problem and so we dove deep and over the last four years since we received that award, um, we have worked very hard to become a multicultural space um, working towards becoming an anti-racist space. And through the hard work of um, changing staff, changing programs, changing priorities, um, changing systems and structures, um, we are now at a place where we are seeing 80% youth of color accessing services. Um, and so we feel in some ways humbled and honored to have received the award, um, and yet that spurred us on to continue to work towards human rights for all people in our community so that all youth um, who need our support can have access to it.